Hi guys, welcome to Cosplay Vicar. I'm continuing my R2 build and today I am going to be playing with the LED lights that go in the dome of R2. I've got hold of a set of lights from Darren Paulson called Astro Pixels and uh, I've opened the box and a little look um, but I don't know about you, some things are your comfort zone and some aren't electronics. I really worry about something going fizz, pop, bang, and, and it not working. Sorry, you can hear um, R2's body is well underway um, on my 3D printer, so we'll just ignore that. So uh, I have received this uh, kit, and it's essentially all the LED lights for the dome. Uh, I've been doing some research now, I'll put this together, and I, I've really struggled because I think for many people on the forum, they think Ellie it did just think it's straightforward and I, I I've been struggling to get my head around it but I think I'm almost there so uh, I've been emailing Darren backwards always he's been super helpful and he's given me um I find wading through all of the websites incredibly difficult I spot something there that I find is helpful then on another page I spot something here because it's not all together it's not a step-by-step -step guide I just get a little bit lost with this stuff uh, slightly that's what worries me about when I get to the actual remote control part but anyway we're going to put the, the the lights together um I'm going to walk through the kit and then I'm going to aim to put it together and let's see how easy that is and I really hope that if you're like me and you just, you've got a kit like this and you're wondering how does this all go together uh, how how does it all link up Hopefully this will show you how to do that. There's a few videos online where people just go boom, 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 boom. There you go. It works. They weren't helpful for me because I was like, how did you do that? Like, where did they go? What did you put into what? And that's what I want to just go through today. Um, so let's just jump to my board and you'll see where we are up to and we'll start putting this thing together. Okay, so this is where I'm up to. Uh, what you get with this kit is your front logic lights they're the two little ones that go on the front of r2 rear logic so that's the longer bar one you get your front psi disc your rear psi disc and you get three hollow projectors with it you also get these extension cables so it all fits in what i've done here is I've printed out, I'm going to put in my notes, uh, these pieces of paper that I've put together. And what Darren has given me, he's told me the, uh, from the back uh, breakout board, which is this, to the rear uh, logic display, which is this one, needed a 30 centimeter extension. Now, at the minute, something's not right with my extension cables because I don't have enough extension cables. So somewhere here, we've got something wrong and we'll work this out as I go along. He's told me the breakup board to the front logic display needs one 30 centimeter and one 10 centimeter. So that's what we've got in here. So I've gone through and I've partnered up what I believe to be the right ones. I think there's something wrong here, front, PSI about PSI but we'll work that as we go on so what I've done is I've connected the pieces up and then I've printed out these codes because the way my brain works doesn't I'm visual I'm not if the if this was created as a picture I'd have had no problem but because it's front FLD RLD FPSI I just I'm getting lost so printed this out so I can keep going back to reminding myself what these mean. What I've also done is, so this is the breakout board. And on the breakout board down the side here, you can see that there's letters and code. What really confused me was I couldn't quite see those because they were too small. I was struggling because I thought there was two FLDs. And there should be one LFLD, one RLD, front, um, front logic display and rear logic display. So what I've ended up doing I've printed it out so it's bigger, uh, so I can actually see this, and that's what I'm working from. Uh, and that's been one of my struggles, not being able to quite see. And then you need to make sure that you are connecting your lights to the board. Um, 
so that your data cable or your signal cable, which seems to be the same, uh, goes to the data or signal, cable, uh, signal on here. So down at the bottom, you can see, oh, I'll use my bit of paper because it is just so much clearer. There you've got signal. I've chosen that my signal or my data will be black so that I'm always connecting my signal with the black cable. I don't know if you're meant to use the black or, or a different one, but that's certainly, I just realised. Ah, see, this is where, okay, this is where you get all tangled up. So I now I've just realised that's wrong. Don't do what I just did. So it quite clearly on the back of my hollow projectors, the signal is white. So I need to go throughout the whole thing and change it so signal is white. So let me very quickly do that. On this one, it says D, there's no signal. So I presume data and signal are the same. <sighs> right, the next step is going to be to connect onto my little board here. Check, you can see that. Yes, of course you can. Right, you can see that. I'm now going to connect onto this my light. So let's see how this goes. I'm just going to get another piece of paper. And I'm going to put this piece of paper and just move it up. There's my front, my rear, my top hollow projector. I'm going to put this on here just so it is easier to see. Right. So rear logic display. display. It's this one. Now this one supposedly should have no, rear logic display, turn signature, okay, rear logic display. And data and signal, which is white. So signal is on that far side. Let's connect in like that. Okay, so that is my rear. Front logic display is next. Again, that wants to be white. Signal and data is white. Okay, that's those. The next on here is FPSI, which is a front PSI. Front PSI. Now, let me just check this. Front PSI wanted 130 and 120. Well, it's got 130 and 110 at the minute. I think I've got some, I think I've got a shortage of some extender. So I've ended up using the wrong ones on the wrong ones. But let's see how we get on. So that's that one. The next one on here is the rear PSI. Now this one, let's have a look. Rear PSI should be 130, which is what I've got on here. Signal is white. So let's drop that on C rear PSI. Okay. Next one, THP. So that's the top hollow projector. Now, if I look on here, top hollow projector should be 130, which is what I've got, and 110, which is what I've got. So, and white is my signal. Great. The next one is the rear Hollow projector. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Rear hollow projector should be 120 centimeter. Well, that's not 20 centimeters, that's the 30 centimeters. And the front hollow projector should be a 30 centimeters extension plus 30 centimeters. That's not right. I kind of just don't have. So I think they've got mixed up. So that one is going to be front. So this is my rear with 120 centimetres. It goes on there. Okay. And then this is my front hollow projector. So white goes on there. That's great. Now there's lots of other stuff on here. There's a whole load of auxiliaries. 
there i'm not sure what the 3v3 is but in my notes it says ignore the 3v3 pins they're just if you want to mess around with other things fine I can happily do that same with the signal and the one to c so the one to c is down here that must be a mess around so down here this green here this is um where you're to hook up your power uh or you could do your power through this little usb here i'm going to use the, the the usb so let me now try attaching a usb battery to here and let's see what happens Okay, we've got the lights there. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Okay. What I'll do is I'll turn my lights out in a second. Lay that down. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. These look absolutely fantastic. Wonderful, that's going to look so good at the front. You oh, know, these have gone out. Oh, the holo projectors. I wonder if they're on like a little timer and they're going to come on and off. I don't quite know. I presume they may come back on. Oh, let's see, just give it a minute. Beautiful. My next step will be to get these into my dome. We'll come back in a minute when I've had a little bit more of a play. What I'm looking at is you, at the minute, because my 3D printer's going, is just hot gluing these into place. I've took the lids off some spray cans and just use a little bit of this uh, baking paper. My plan is just to hot glue those in uh, to see what that looks like and then 3D print the proper rings for those once uh, my 3D printer is, is no longer on constant. So, 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 so. I've hot glued everything in and uh, I will show you in a minute what it looks like on the inside. It is a bit uh, rough and ready, uh, but we have working lights. I'm running them from just a power bank right now, which is almost dead. So uh, hope we, hopefully we've got enough juice in here just to fire these up so we can see them at work. Uh, here we go, beautiful. Enough for now. There we go. Love, absolutely love the hollow projector. I just know it's fab. Um, they're beautifully bright. So where I put filters, I've used a lot of um, baking paper on the, bake proof paper uh, on the hollow projectors just to kind of really start to fuzz that out a little bit. Uh, these were just 3D printed anyway, so they, they seem to be doing their job uh, really well. Very happy with my uh, filters that I put on here. So that's looking really good. Let me just turn it around. So we, oh, here we go. So we can see them on the front. These look great. I'd already got my own 3D printed um, little mesh uh, inside of those anyway. Uh, so that uh, you would get those little circles that you, you know, as you do on R2D2. Uh, so I'm really pleased with that. The yellow, the orange and green looks flipping cool. Very happy with how this has turned out. There we go. And this useful yellow green rotating disc uh, has worked nicely as well. So really happy with this. Uh, we'll get some little B-roll to show you. But all in all, great. Now, I was really panicking before I started on this because I just couldn't work out. I'd been given some LED lights. I'd been given a, a, a board. And I was like, I can't see how these attach because I didn't know what those lights were called. And I didn't know what those uh, three letters, um, even now, like I'm blank and I've just done the hard work. You know, FLD, front logic display, RLD, rear logic display, 
FPSI front PSI, that's the round disc. Then you've got your rear PSI and you've got your top PSI. Uh, and then you've got your top uh, hollow projector. You've got a rear hollow projector and a front hollow projector, which is FHP, RHP, THP. Once I'd been told like what those abbreviations were, that was, it, I could make it work. Although I really had to squeeze my brain to keep remembering what those three letters stood for. Uh, that's why writing it out like this, I found really helpful in printing these out. I'll produce a little PDF document of what I had created here. Uh, and if you would find that helpful to print that out and to kind of line it all up as well, that would be perfectly fine with me. Uh, so I'll, I'll get that online when I upload. But R2 dome is looking great. Let me just show you this then. So then I will tidy this all up. So I've attached the little board to a bit of wood which I've got Velcroed on. So that will come in and out uh, this as uh, easy as I need it. And then simply glue gunned in uh, everything into place. Uh, my theory there is I can change it to uh, something else later on uh, if I need to, but if I also need to take them out while I'm still building, I can do that if it's hot glue. Once I've epoxy resin, I can't remove. So there you go. If you are thinking about getting some Astro Pixels, definitely they are great value. 60 pounds in the UK uh, to do this. And uh, I just think it, they're great. They're really, really good. Let's see how the mileage of them, you know, how long do they last, that kind of thing. Um, but really pleased with those. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, the seller uh, down there as well, so you can find them yourself. But I hope that's helpful. If you are fitting a set of something like this, then uh, I hope it's helpful for you just seeing how we all put it to, oh, you actually put it together. So there you go, R2D2. We'll get some lights, uh, we'll get some uh, B-roll and uh, we'll say that done for today. So friends, part three of the R2 build, the 3D printer is going like nobody's business. It'll be a while now before the next one because I'm just gonna have to wait for a million pieces of printers. Until next time, Enjoy R2, enjoy cosplaying, and uh, we'll speak later. Actually, before we get there, let's just have a look. So each of these are connected in, down, tracking with the letters that were hidden down here that I was really struggling to find. Ah, oh, there we go. All the projectors come on there. Oh, beautiful. Lovely, lovely. So... Need to track with that power coming in. That's where I was particularly struggling was to work out how that all connected in and what these were each called. So now I've worked out what they're called. That makes total sense.